So this may seem like a very tall order. You may be faced with developing your own tools, but do them carefully to meet the standards that pack a punch. Look first for measurements that already exist. It's in the midst of the movement towards accountability and pay for performance, many tools have emerged and they will continue to become available. I will introduce you to one that I am particularly fond of because it is so focused on the evidence, it reflects the best practice related to audit and feedback, and includes nurse sensitive processes and outcomes, and that's the Paces and Pool tool that the Joanna Briggs Institute has um, developed. But other measures that can be very helpful include those from the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality. It's home to the National Quality Measures Clearinghouse. And the measures that show up in that clearinghouse have been evaluated according to several criteria, including the importance of the measure, the scientific soundness of the measure, and three, the feasibility of using that measure. You will find links to the health and human resources measure as well, though these metrics may not meet the same criteria or same rigor that uh, the AHRQ has associated with their measures. Some clinical practice guidelines also include metrics that for audit and feedback. The Registered Nurses of Ontario organization has excellent practice guidelines that includes how to measure whether or not the process has happened and um, whether or not uh, how to measure outcomes with clear numerators, denominators, etc. The Institute for Healthcare Improvement Tools also are a good source to look for. Many of you are familiar with the NDNQI, particularly if you're a magnet organization, you're aware of those 18 different outcomes, and these include nurse satisfaction uh, measurement. And the National Quality Forum, Forum is driving and shares some of the same metrics with other organizations. So let's talk a little bit more about the Paces and Pool tool from the Joanna Briggs Institute in their partnership with Walters Kluwer Health and Ovid. Lippicott, Williams, and Wilkins. JBI Connect Plus is a bundle of tools aimed at knowledge transfer and utilization. The tools begin with knowing what to do. They begin with the evidence in the form of a brief evidence summary. You can easily search it using usual tools. It includes when you find that source, it includes where that came from, what the level of evidence is for each recommendation. It ends with a very brief bottom line clinical recommendation about what to do. The next step is to audit. And so you can find easily those criteria that go along with that practice. You can select it. They are observable. Those criteria have been vetted based on the evidence summary and the criteria themselves have been vetted to make sure that they are observable. You can set up a unit-based or an institution-based audit. You can even determine sample size if you're doing an institutional-based audit for how many samples should be taken, how many observations should be taken per unit. You can collect the data using a handheld device like an iPad or an iPhone. You can create an immediate graphical representation of both baseline and subsequent audits. No Excel required. You can identify then quickly what areas of practice need to be worked on and which areas of practice can be celebrated. Embedded in the technology is a simple action planning tool called GRIP, getting research into practice, and you can use that to immediately engage your stakeholders right there when you're looking at that data to create some solutions appropriate for that context, identify barriers, set targets, even receive email reminders. Then you re-audit, compare, and continue that cycle learning from each audit. Here's a picture of uh, Paces at work, you could say. This was uh, some work that I did with our undergraduate students at Purdue University Calumet, where they're using iPads and conducting a Paces quality improvement cycle to improve the care of pressure ulcers in a long-term acute care setting. It was quite successful.